Hello, welcome back to Statistics and Mathematics YouTube channel. Today, we are going to start our studies on applications on standard normal distribution. In our previous video, we, treated, we have treated quite a lot on introduction to normal distributions, standard normal distributions, and today, we are going to treat the applications on standard, uh, norm, uh, standard normal distribution. So please, if you haven't watched the videos on normal distribution and a standard normal distribution, kindly go and watch because we are going to use that um, knowledge from the standard normal distribution video that we just made to treat um, the application of normal distribution perhaps this one we are just going to solve questions so uh, we are just going to use the mathematics that we learned on the standard normal distribution to treat um, this um, to solve these questions so the question one is saying a survey by the national Refills federation found that women women spend on average 146.21 dollars for christmas holiday assume standard deviation is 29.44 find the percentage of women who spend less than 160 dollars assume the variables is what normally distributed so here we are just assuming that the variables are normally distributed and the percentage here more or less represent what probabilities and we know that if you if you will be able to calculate the percentages or probabilities for normal distribution we use what you call the standard normal distribution and then standard normal distribution that we learned is used to calculate for the probabilities of uh, the normal distribution right so here they want us to i mean calculate for the probabilities so what you do is that we just have to get our parameters for the standard the z score down well you know that our z is equal to x minus mu divided by our sigma right and then we see that our average was given here as a mu and then our standard deviation was given here as 29.44 and then our x right is given as 160 what dollars right so we have this year right so what we just do is just substitute here it into this one right we know our x to be 160 we know our um mu to be 160 146.21 and we know our sigma to be 29.44 right so the question is just saying find the percentage of women who spend less than 160 dollars right so it will be probability that our x is less than 160 dollars and we just know that uh, if our x is just less than 160 dollars it's more or less our x is equal to 160 dollars right so that is what we have got. that's continuous distribution for you so this since this is a continuous um the, uh, probability distribution and then perhaps it's a continuous random variable we are just going to say that our less than right so for this case we are just going to start from zero to what 160 right so the answer that we will get will more or less be including from zero to 160 right so we are just going to represent our x to, to be 160 and then it will help us to get our z score and go to our z table to get our probabilities for this one so here once we substitute in this one i'm going to get 0 0.47 so for 0 0.47 this one is not the answer. This one is just the Z score value. So you have to go to the Z distribution table um, and then get your probabilities, right? So the probability will be 0 0.6808, right? So when you come to the Z table, since we are getting a positive number here, we are just going to the positive Z table. We will get, we will locate 1 point, um, 0 0.4 and then trace 0 0.4 to 0 0.7 and we are going to get 0 0.6. A08. So this is what our probability that has been gotten here nicely, right? So we just conclude that 68 percent of the women spend less than 161 dollars. So this is our second question. Our second question is just saying that each month an American household generates an average of 228 pounds of newspapers for um that baggage or recycling assume the standard deviation is two pounds right we are just assuming that the standard deviation is two pounds if a household is selected as random find the probability that it is uh, generating a between 227 and the 31 pounds per month more than 30.2 pounds per a month right so we have been given this one right and then from the question we just know that our average is what 28 Right, so when you come, we have our mean to be 28, and our sigma was given as what two. 
right and then we know that our z right our z is equal to x minus what mu divided by what? sigma and then we have just given that um should find the probability of generating between 27 and then 31 right so there's a small or less probability that our um probability that 27 is less than x less than what 31 right so we are just going to find our z we are just going to use this prob uh, values to find our probabilities using the z uh, score right so here it will be probability of 27 minus um, 28 divided by what 2 so here will be our x the first 27 we are x subtract the mean and divided by the standard deviation right so that will be our first distance less than z less than 31 minus 28 divided by our 2 right so when you do the necessary addition and division you are going to get this answer right you are going to get negative when you point everything on the calculator this one i'm going to get negative uh, 0 0.50 and if you punch uh, the whole of this one also on the calculator i'm going to get um, 1 point um, five zero right so now we are just going to calculate for the they, what you have gotten here is just the probabilities right so you are going to calculate sorry the z score we are going to calculate the probabilities for this one so we are going to have phi of 1.50 minus phi of negative 0 0.50 right so just get the probability for this and get the probability for this and then just subtract so let's go to the normal table and just get the probability for 1.50 so 1.5 will be for the row and then 0, 0 0.0 will be for the column to get the probability for this one so let's go so it's a positive distance you are going to the positive table you are going to locate 1.5 so this is 1.5 here and then you're just going to locate 0, um, 0 right and 0 0.02 is here right so you are just going to i mean trace this one to 1.5 and then we are going to get 0 0.9332 right so 0 0.9332 is what we had here right and then we are going to calculate for probability for the negative 0 0.50 since here is negative you are going to the negative z table right this is positive z table so negative z table is here right so we are just going to negative 0 0.50 right as we have here you can check um, negative 0 0.5 uh, as we have here, negative 0 0.5. We are just going to the negative 0 0.5 table. That is, this is so the negative 0 0.5 will be for the row, and the 0, 0.0 will be for the column, right? So, negative 0 0.5 is here, and then as 0 2 is here, so we just trace it to negative 0 0.5. I get this negative, uh, sorry, 0 0.3085, right? So when you come here. 0.3085 so i'm just going to subtract this one from this one to get 0.6247 so this is our probability right this is our probability right and our next question is just saying you should find uh, the probability of it generating more than 30.2 pounds per month so 30.2 pounds will be probability that our x is greater than 30 and then we are going to calculate from 30 to infinity of which we can't we have to I mean find another way the other way will be and then this is the same as one minus probably that our x is less than or equal to what 30 right so here we are just going to calculate our z score once we get our z score with this probability right once we get our z score with this probability we are just going to uh rate it probability right with it probability we are just going to i mean subtract it from one in order to get our answer right so uh, let me clean the the, uh, the the space so that we can work it on there. So this is what we have, right? So it will be 1, one minus 5 of um, 30.2 minus our mean, which is 28, divided by our standard deviation, which is 2, right? So once you do the necessary addition and subtraction, what's this one? When you subtract this one, from this one, I'm going to get 2.2. 2.2 divided by 2 give us 1.1. So here will give us 1 minus 5 of 1.10. 1. 
So you are going to the positive Z table, right? So when you go to the positive Z table, you just find the probability for the 1.10 and then subtract it from 1, right? So when you come here, when you come to the normal table, uh, we are having this negative, right? You should have to go to the positive table, 1.1. So you locate 1.1 at the row side and then 0, 0.0 at the column side. So you are getting uh, 0 0.8643. 0.8643. So you are going to subtract um, 0.8643. Right? Subtract this one from one, and you are going to get your answer when you do the necessary one calculation to be. You are going to get it to be 0, 0 0.1357. Right? So this is what we are going to get for our answer right for this question so this one what you see here is just for the z score so we have to collect it we have to do it uh, how do you call it get the probability from this standard normal distribution table and then um use that one and then subtract it from one to get your final answer right so let's move to the next question so um as you can see the answer nicely got in here right as you can see so what we did the calculation that we did here the answer can be seen what here right so um let's go to our next our next question so for this question what about let's say if the probability that you are going to calculate is given to you your standard deviation is given to you your mean is given to you and you have been asked to calculate for your x how are we going to do that that one too so you are going to walk through some examples of that sort so that at the end of the day, we could really appreciate any question at all that will come into our way on what normal uh, distribution. Mm -hmm. So the question reads. So the question reads: To um, qualify for a police academy, candidate must score in the top ten percent on a general ability, a general abilities test. The test has a mean of two hundred and a standard deviation of twenty. Find the lowest possible score to qualify. Here, they want us to find the lowest possible score, um, the lowest possible score to I mean, qualify. And then they are asking that assume the test score are normally what distributed, right? So here, uh, we are going to use the Z score to find the lowest possible score to qualify, right? We have been given our standard deviation, we have been given our mean, we have been given our probability. So the z score is not given but you can be able to calculate our z score using what this probability of which we did similar example in our last um, in our last video right so right now we have 10 percent a uh, 10 percent to be our general ability test so for us to get our z score right um this will be a normal distribution um graph right and then we see that our x lies here Right, so the cumulative area will be equal to one minus um, zero point one zero zero zero. In, in, in more sense, to be ten divided by hundred, which is equal to zero point one. The zero point zero 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 added to this one doesn't mean anything. So I just go to subtract this one from zero point nine. Sorry, we just going to subtract this one from one to get zero point nine zero zero. Right. So I don't the day you are going to use this one. 0 0.900 to go to the what the z table right the positive z table to get the probabilities for 0 0.8 to get the probability for 0 0.900 to get the probability to be 0 0.8997 right so please uh, sorry to get the closest sorry to get the closest table value right it will be something like this one right which correspond to um 1.82 right 1.82 so this one will be our Z, right? This one will be our Z. But you see that uh, the, the closest stable value will be 0 0.897, which will correspond to the Z to be 1.28, right? So sorry for the previous mis misinterpretation, right? So here we have our Z to 1.28. So uh, once you have our Z to 1.28, you can easily make our X the subject because you have 1.28 is equal to X minus our mu was given us. 200 divided by our standard deviation was given as what 20 right so we just make as the subject multiply this one by 20 so here will be 20 
times 1.28 right is equal to x minus what 200 so our x must be equal to 20 to bracket 1.28 then you subtract 200 from it as they have that sorry you add 200 to it as they have done here right so when you add you are going to get uh, our x to be 226 uh, 226 so uh, in conclusion we will say that a score of 226 should be used as what cut off as what a cut off anybody scoring 226 or higher is qualified right so i don't believe these are some of the sample questions that i would like us to i mean solve under um, the application so and i know that um, when you get subsequent questions or when you get questions kindly apply this same method and you will be able to i mean solve those questions too so if you haven't subscribed to statistics and mathematics youtube channel kindly subscribe like and share so that this video too will get to your friends and they too will watch and understand bye have a nice day